What is going on guys? How is it going? Now we are reviewing the amazing Spider-Man issue 544. So this is the continuation of the Back in Black storyline. So the Back in Black storyline ended in issue 543 and this is issue 544. Now I do need to tell you that this is One More Day Part 1. And the next issue, which is One More Day Part 2, is actually in Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. So basically, it's pretty much just like reading the next issue, but instead of it being called Amazing Spider-Man, it's called Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man because Marvel wanted to cross over the comics. So you know like how the Spider-Verse is crossed over into Superior Spider-Man and Amazing Spider-Man? It's like that. So... Well, it's similar to that anyway, so just think about that. So basically, if you see a video on my channel called Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man One More Day Part 2, then click it because it is the next issue to this issue. And I'll put it in a playlist anyway, so you won't have to do that. But yeah, just I'll make a playlist with the videos just to give you guys a heads up. But yeah, so anyway, this is the next issue from the ending of the Back in Black storyline, One More Day. And it pretty much is the end to... All of this craziness, all of this tragedy with Peter's identity being revealed to the world, Aunt May dying, MJ and all that going absolutely ballistic and crazy, it's basically the ending to that. So if you if you liked Back in Black, then make sure that you read this and keep up with it because it is awesome. But without waiting any longer, let's get into the issue. Alright, so to kick off this issue, it actually starts out with Peter pretty much blaming himself. He's kind of just talking about how he wants to get out of the city, out of the country, off the planet, for God's sakes. But this is in continuation with the Back in Black storyline, like I've already said. So we go back to Aunt May still lying in the bed. And of course, this is the Amazing Spider-Man One More Day storyline. So, pretty much here, they have not got any insurance whatsoever. And if you remember, Aunt May, Peter, and MJ aren't really using their real names. They're under Morgan. And there's, I think it's really quite a special moment here because I think this really does show the, uh, you know, the problems that Spider-Man has. Like, you have Superman that doesn't really need... He's do, he doesn't worry about financial problems and stuff like that whereas I think this really shows how Spider-Man differentiates from other superheroes because he can't afford to like look after his relatives but this awesome part with the uh is it the doctor I think it was the doctor this awesome part with the doctor where he says that he promised that he would help Spider-Man if he ever had the chance and he knows that that is Peter Parker stood in front of him and I thought that was such an awesome moment for especially one of the public to actually try and repay Spider-Man for all of the years of saving lives and stuff like that that he's done. But then Peter actually goes somewhere to get some money. He goes to someone that has a bottomless wallet and he actually goes to Tony Stark. Now, I don't know whether you saw that, but was Tony Stark's Iron Man suit like just like melting onto him then or something like that? I don't really know. How that, if you guys can let me know in the comments like why Tony Stark's suit is just like melting onto him, like it's kind of just appearing onto him. I don't know, let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, so Tony Stark just blasts into Peter Parker and usually Peter would, you know, throw like a, a silly quip out there or something like that. Like he'll say a funny joke, but not today. He doesn't have time for messing about. He literally just webs Iron Man's feet and they both go crashing to the ground, almost killing them both, but luckily Iron Man was able to break their fall. Now, in my opinion, this is the most badass part of the comic in general, because Peter is willing to bet his life over Tony Stark, pretty much obliterating his face, and it is just so awesome, this punch to I he didn't think about it, he didn't punch Tony Stark, he punched the armour of Iron Man, and... If you remember as well, uh, after the Spider-Man The Other Evolve or Die storyline, after that happened, uh, you can say that Spider-Man Peter Parker basically uh, shed his skin and he actually got a bunch of new powers. So instead of Peter Parker having web shooters, he actually has internal organic web shooters. And in case you don't know what Evolve or Die is, it's basically the storyline where Marlon comes after Peter Parker for the second time and Peter actually kills Marlon by 
evolving and giving into the spider side of him of his powers. So he gets a bunch of new powers and stuff like that. And obviously, organic web shooters is one of them. But during the Civil War, Tony Stark basically took Peter's family into his house, into his household. He looked after him and stuff like that. Tony Stark was basically like a father to Peter Parker. And in case you don't know, Civil War storyline is pretty much where. Well, you should probably know this by now if you're up to this comic. Civil War is basically where Peter Parker revealed his identity to the world. And, yeah. But yeah, so, Iron Man just blasts out of his webbing. But for this one time, he is actually letting Peter Parker go. Even though Peter is a criminal now. Well, he's not, but to the government he is. Even though he's a criminal, Tony Stark says that he'll let him go just this once. And... Pretty much the whole goal of this interaction was for Peter to try and get Tony Stark to help Aunt May because of course Tony Stark is a rich billionaire so it's only logical but I think this actually left a bit of guilt on Tony Stark actually because when Tony Stark returns to his house he actually sees a picture of them like all together all MJ and Peter Parker and Aunt May all happy and he actually sends Jarvis to the hospital to pretty much just pay for all of Aunt May's care to have the finest care to make sure she survives and it's really quite an emotional sort of situation here because Jarvis actually loved Aunt May and for him to see her where he first looks through the window and he actually puts his hand on the window he turns round to the doctors and just gives them two million dollars and it is like the I think it's one of the best parts of the comic as well in terms of emotional side to things and even though they've got all this care and stuff like that the doctor still says that there's still hardly any hope that Aunt May will survive but Peter says this awesome line where he says maybe not in your world doc but with the people I hang around with they're a little different and I thought that was just so awesome especially the ending as well where Peter pretty much avows that he's going to find this cure for Aunt May and that is the end of the issue and although it's the end of the issue we do know and you'll see in the next issue that spider-man is actually going to see the one and only doctor strange the mythical mystical magical magician doctor strange type of guy and you might have actually seen doctor strange in the news recently because it has actually been confirmed that benedict cumberbatch is actually going to be playing doctor strange in the doctor strange movie now, of course, the Back in Black storyline ended in The Amazing Spider-Man issue 543, and this, what we just reviewed now, is issue 544, One More Day. But the next part to this issue is actually in The Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. But anyway, guys, I'm going to give this issue an 8 out of 10. I thought the emotional side of things was awesome, especially with Tony Stark and Jarvis. And especially Jarvis's face when he actually saw Aunt May in the medical bed was just... It touched you in the heart. It really did. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Again, the next part is called Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man One More Day Part 2. So look out for that video. And... Don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page because I always post previews to the Amazing Spider-Man issue 11, the Amazing Spider-Man issue 12, all the upcoming comics, and I also put theories forwards and talk about my videos, maybe what's coming out in the future, and stuff like this, like telling you about how the next issue is the Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man instead of Amazing Spider-Man, and stuff like that. So go and follow me on my Facebook page by clicking the link in the description. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and of course don't forget to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for more and i will see you guys in my next video